Hello and welcome to another edition of Pedro TV. I'm Dominic Piper. Today I'm joined by Nick Castleton, Managing Director of Apollo Consolidated. Nick, thanks for joining us. That's a, it's a pleasure, Dominic. Uh, thanks for, uh, for presenting up and having a chat. Nick, Apollo has been an incredibly consistent performer in recent years on your uh, Rebecca Gold project here in Western Australia. The hits have just kept coming. They might not be the highest grade that we're seeing, but they're very consistent all the way through. Is that what you've been trying to achieve with the exploration results? Uh, you can't choose your own body, but this one um, that we found out, Rebecca, is, is one of those systems that's it's got width uh, and, and it's got continuity. So um, although the individual loads get quite complicated, we're following them uh, over you know, 1.7 kilometres through the main deposit, which is the Rebecca deposit. Uh, and what we found is when you're on that surface, the grades don't really vary that much in the main structures. It's, a, it's one of those um, quite coherent and, um, and conformable uh, modest grade deposits. Uh, and uh, you know, it gives us a geometry that looks quite doable in, in an open pit um, scenario. Nick, we've seen a lot of exciting exploration results lately and, and, and a lot of people have been saying, well, how can we keep it turning up in Western Australia these new discoveries? How did Apollo turn up a discovery like Rebecca? Yeah, it's a classic story. There was, uh, there was some exposure uh, at the southern end of the project with a bit of gold at, um, in two areas we call Duke and Duchess. Uh, and then um, beyond those, uh, those drill areas, it goes into transported cover and there was increasing cover to the north um, uh, east, as it turned out, and that's exactly where we found the main Rebecca pit. Uh, there was a couple of little indications of gold um, that we followed up with, with RC drilling and uh, more by luck than anything else, uh, that's where the better grade and larger system ended up being. Um, you know, in retrospect, it looks like an, a really good structural location for a deposit. You've got to that uh, magical milestone of a million ounces now in the resort. What does that set up from here? What are your plans now for the next 12 months or so? What we need to do, what we'd like to do in this course of um, you know, this 12 month period is, is, is build the confidence in that million ounces, uh, as in bring more of the inferred through to indicate. Uh, and ideally bolt on some additional um, volume, doesn't matter if it's, if it's uh, only inferred, but so we can, we can really get um, you know, a, a runway to sort of that 10 years plus something going into the future. Uh, and we're doing it two ways. One is, is just by you know, pure exploration in the unexplored areas. Uh, and, and the other part of that equation is drilling deeper under the best part of the main Rebecca deposit. You've had some really interesting hits, haven't you, at deeper uh, levels in, underneath the known deposits yep. in the last couple of months. Does that give you uh, confidence that you'd be able to, to put together an underground resource there as well? Uh, yeah, look, absolutely. But, well, the central part of the main Rebecca deposit, uh, by the nature of the, of the geology there, there's, there's uh, two or three surfaces that actually stack up on top of each other. Um, there's absolutely no reason um, that the base of the optimised resource was going to be the end of mineralisation. Um, but obviously, to go from a pit to underground environment, you need to follow the higher grade portions. Um, at the minute, we've only got a, you know, four or five PS points at depth below that optimised pit. Uh, and luckily um, for us, uh, you know, individual surfaces are, are providing some really nice grade um, intercepts. What is the development status of the project now? Are you looking towards feasibility studies and so forth? Uh, I think that we, uh, for the course of this year, we'll keep going with the drill rig in a, an exploration and, and resource definition sense um, because there was too many unanswered questions regarding the extensions and depth extensions. Um, but by the end of um, the year or early next year, we should be able to revisit the resource. At that point, we might be ready to start pushing this thing further down a, a, um, a mining studies pathway. It's a very delicate situation for a single asset company like yourselves. We've seen some high profile failures, unfortunately, in the, in the WA Gold space in recent times. Have you, have you taken note of those, of those problems and, and is, is that informing the way that you're, you're taking this project forward? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, Particularly with our, our global resource, um, we treated it in a, in a, what we think is a pretty conservative manner. So we only report what 
fell into optimised pits, for starters. We, we did a lot of quite high density drilling through the most important parts of that system, so 50% uh, of, the, of the global resource is already indicated. So it's quite, um, we've got quite good confidence in the best part of that mineralised system. What we do have in our favour is the, the width of the system and the, uh, and the volume of, of surrounding lower grade material. Um, it looks as though we can mine uh, at quite, in, in future, at quite a low strip ratio. Nick, as well as Rebecca, you have a 20% interest in the Bagal project in Cote d'Ivoire that you had found out to Exora Resources. Exora have now agreed to merge with Perseus Mining. Is that a good outcome for the company? Oh, look, most definitely. I think when we did that deal, we ended up with effectively 40% of Exora, and um, we gave the shareholders uh, some distribution shares, uh, which worked really well. It's a, a dividend that's, that's paid off nicely for shareholders. Uh, and then the transaction recently was to clean up the last 20%. Um, so we have another um, 7 million Australian going into the to treasuries. It'll take us to about $22 million in the bank, which is a really nice place to be. Um, and also it was the trigger for um, you know, cleaning up the, the, the whole property into, in, into uh, Perseus. So uh, I think the whole thing's worked quite well.